exit onto Edgecombe Road towards Shepherd Road. Okay. That's the Mississippi, right? Yes. I've been looking for a place where I can call my home. All right. It's the party. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hey. Hey. Hey, everybody. It's Teddy the Brave here, and you've tuned in for another Brave Blog. Live from the hotel room. I'm just now realizing that I got dreams, man. Okay? They are real, okay? But we'll talk about that a little later. First things first. Um, I have a confession. I, f I fell in love. I love Minnesota. Well, maybe not Minnesota. I love St. Paul and Minneapolis. The people, the houses. First of all, let me tell you, these houses are amazing. It's like a gingerbread community, okay? And then all the arts culture and then all the beautiful people groups that have found a haven there. Why didn't anybody tell me about Super Target? Everywhere you go, I'm looking for, do they have a Super Target? Super Target has never been a thing for Teddy. Target has never been a thing for Teddy. And now, okay, I'm on ways. Super Target. No Super Target? Anyway, not to prolong the time, something happened to me while I was in Minnesota. I'm shook. Shook! I just want to say I really do love the city. The people are amazing. The different people groups that have found a home there. Uh, that have said, hey, this is a place that we find safety and we could build our lives. You know, immigrants, different people groups. I mean, it's just a beautiful thing. So shout out to St. Paul and Minneapolis. I love you. I really do love this city. And, um, you know, I felt like I was, I was being wooed the whole time I was there. And the thing is, I can't come there right now because I'm doing something, okay? But I'll be, I'll be back. I'll be back sooner than later. So while I was there, I got a chance to visit the amazing Penumbra Theater. Now, I visited on the day when it was closed, but uh, I thought it'd be cool if I could just at least walk around the building. And so that's what I did. I walked around the neighborhood and the building, tried to imagine what it might have felt like for artists to uh, get their start there, for artists uh, in the 70s and 80s who were in the black arts movement to, to step foot on that ground and say, this is where I belong. I have a place and I, and I have a voice and it's gonna be heard. Tried to imagine what it felt like for August Wilson to have some of his first works produced there and um, for people who, who led the, the founding of the Penumbra Theater, like Lou Bellamy, who was tasked with the founding and Man, he, he succeeded. He did a great job. How, how it must have felt for him to, to open the doors and say, hey, it's done. We have a place. All you artists, all you misfits, all you who have been ignored, but have something to say, something important to say, here is where you belong. And y'all, let me tell you, I was just honored to be on the premises. Uh, they were a part of the black arts movement and they had to fight to be recognized as a legitimate uh, place for the arts, a legitimate center for the arts. This is legitimate, what we do is real. It's not just a social service. Much to my surprise, there was a show that afternoon. Stage manager let me in. The second I walked into the theater, if there was just one word to describe what I felt, that one word would be embrace. I felt embraced by, man, I felt embraced by my people. I felt like my art was legitimate. I felt like what I have to offer matters. That is what I felt. And I just imagine all the stories that have come through. I, I, I felt all the stories that have 
gone up. I looked at the um, quilt pattern paintings on the wall and and I just felt the the fingertips that have that have ran across the wall. And I felt home. I felt home. Not that you know I belong there. I mean, if I got to work there, that would be incredible. But just this sense of home, like you belong here. You matter. There's a seat at the table for you. Preach. And so before I left, the stage manager allowed me actually to walk up onto the stage. And, you know, I kissed the stage and it was it was a beautiful moment. And then I, I walked out, got to my car. This feeling just bubbled up inside of me. And I just burst into tears. I wept. Why was I weeping? Over the years, I've kind of had smaller expressions of my dreams. I was suppressing my dreams, and that's something you can't do. You can't do, you won't be satisfied. Life won't be fulfilling. Dreams are divine. They are God's creativity at work in your life. And I, I like the way Langston Hughes said it, hold fast to dreams for if dreams die, Life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. And so for anyone that is watching that you have a dream, no matter what it may be, um, go for it. Don't water it down. Don't dumb it down for anybody, but go for what you want. Go for that dream that's inside of you. It matters. You matter. It's legitimate. What it is that you want to do, it's legitimate. To the artists out there, you have a legit offering. My offering is legit and no one can tell me otherwise. There is a space for me out there that only I can feel. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity to visit Penumbra Theater. Um, what I thought was just going to be me visiting a historic theater turned into something of a pilgrimage. And I just want to shout out uh, Lou Bellamy and Sarah, his daughter, uh, what a wonderful work you all are doing there. Shout out to Amy Thomas, the managing director, uh, who spoke to me after I uh, visited inside the theater. She was so nice to me. Shout out to that stage manager who, uh, who was really an angel for me that day and let me in. Um, I am so honored to be in this legacy of storytellers. Oh, speaking of the Brave Blocks, I am wearing some of my Brave People apparel, okay? Now, you can go to Bonfire and find some of these designs. I have several designs. Winter's coming up. Christmas is coming up. There's something for everybody, any season. Uh, go check it out. I'll be sure to post the links. I'm Teddy the Brave. You've tuned in for another Brave Blog. I love you. And love, peace and chicken grease. That was corny than a mug. Hey, I got dreams, man. Oh my gosh. Y'all, I committed to vlogging. And this is something that I'm gonna do. Nothing's gonna stop me. Not even you or your mama. I got my hair on my head, my brains, my ears, my eyes, my nose and my mouth. I got my smile